Uh, hello, welcome to the World Life Center of Mathematics. My name is Kelsey, and today we'll be going over this week's problem of the week. Uh, for the full problem and the solution transcripts, you can look in the description below, and we will have that on our blog. So, you are asked to find the inverse Laplace transform of this uh, expression right here. It's the kind of question you'll be asked in, definitely in a differential equations class. This is a very standard thing. I gave you the table of Laplace transforms, but as you can see, this doesn't really match up perfectly with any of the expressions you're given on a standard Laplace transform table. So we're going to turn it into something that uh, matches with that. And we're going to start by everybody's favorite partial fractions. Uh, so this is a fairly simple uh, partial fraction. Uh, it's easy to solve, and we're about to do it. If you want to learn more about partial fractions, we do have a video on that. It is done by our professor, David Massey. It's very good. We'll put a link in the description for that. So as you can see, it kind of turns into this. And you can substitute a value for x, and it becomes very easy if you pick the right values. So the first thing that comes to mind is, of course, s is equal to negative 16. That will make this 0. Therefore, all we have to do is worry about the value of b. Uh, so as you can see, b is equal to negative 128. And then from here, we can set s equal to 0. And when we do that, then this term disappears. And the equation is, again, very easy. And we can solve for a. Uh, so these are our two um, constants for the partial fraction. And then it becomes very easy to dissolve. And then you'll be able to see that we'll be able to match up terms with the table. And it will be a very simple problem. So. So here, I simply plugged in what we found with partial fractions. And we're going to use properties of inverse Laplace transforms to solve the rest of it. OK, and we can match this up with the Laplace transform table that I have given you. And we see that this matches the form e to the negative at where a is equal to 16. So I will write that down. And we also have over here that um, 1 divided by s plus 16 squared. This has the form 1 over s plus a squared. And that is associated with uh, t e to the negative a t. I will also write that down. So again, we have uh, a is equal to 16 there. We have a is equal to 16 here. We match them up. We can write our final answer. Uh, this is your final support, uh, your final answer. And now you'll be able to solve these kinds of equations when you get to your differential equations class. Uh, so that's it for today's problem of the week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more problems like that, you can uh, click up here to see other playlists with similar problems. Uh, you can click here to subscribe to our channel. You can also click down here to visit us at centerofmath.org. And if you are on a mobile device, there should be an I in the top corner there. And if you click that, you'll get the same links. Thank you so much for watching.